So hey guys, uh, this is Kumar Gupta here. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to build a stress test on the controller. Okay, how to build a stress test on the controller. So before we get started, let me quickly tell you that, you know, if you have any training requirements on load runner or performance testing, you can call me on that number 801-995-2427 or just WhatsApp me uh, on the same number or you can email me on kgupta.testingtraining at gmail.com. Kgupta dot testing training at gmail.com well <clears throat> in the last uh, video we have seen what a load test is like what a load test is like and we have built a load test for 40 users okay so this is the scenario elapsed time and number of concurrent users we have spent good and good amount of time understanding this graph and we also understood that this is the ramp down and this is the ramp up sorry this is the ramp up and this is the steady state so <clears throat> this is what is the load test. Now what is the stress test? Assuming that the peak load is 40 uses, the stress test is you just don't have a steady state and ramp down, all you have is ramp up. You keep increasing the number of uses way past 40. This is the 40, right? 40 uses. Keep increasing, keep increasing, keep increasing until the system breaks. Let's assume this is when the system breaks. So this is the breaking point and you do the stress test to identify this breaking point. Okay, now the most important thing, how do we build this stress test on the controller? Okay, we have understood the concept. There's no problem with that. But how do we build it? Well, <clears throat> let's say that's your workload, workload modeling sheet or the workload for your load test. For the booking flight, it's 25 users. Cancel flight is 10 users. Register users is 5 users. So we have spent good enough, good amount of time understanding this, uh, um, uh, understanding this particular table here or uh, particular data here okay when we are going through our load test uh, video now assuming the same workload how can we change it for the stress test for the stress test increasing increase the load by three times so 25 becomes 75 30, 10 becomes 30 5 becomes 15 so overall users 40 becomes 125 you see so 75 users for book flight 30 users for cancel flight and 15 users for register user. It just increase it by three users what is this logic of three users? Uh, sorry, logic of three times. Increasing, you're increasing it by three times. So what is the logic of increasing it by three times? So well, <clears throat> usually any system that is built, it, it, it is so built that you know it cannot handle or it will certainly break uh, when the load is increased by three times or within that. Uh, the load will break, uh, the, the system will break. So that's how the usually any application will be built or any system will be built uh, so that it, it might not handle three times the load. Okay, that's how it could, it, it will be typically built. So that is the reason why you're applying the load uh, which is of three times the peak load uh, and then assume that it will break within that. Okay, but you know that your system is really robust and it will not certainly break uh, by, um, by applying three times the load, then you have to increase it by probably five times or 10 times depending upon how your application is built. So how do I know that Kumar that you know it will break in three times or not? The best way is to apply the load of three times, go ahead and run it and see if it is getting break, broken. If it's not getting broken, stop the test again, you know, probably increase it by five times or 10 times and then run the test. So that's the easiest way to figure it out. You need not have to go to the developer or you need not have to go to anybody. Just put the three times the load, see if it, if it is breaking. If it is breaking, it's all well, good, fine. You can just give the breaking point to, the, to, the, to, to, the, to, the, to your management. Well, it doesn't broken. Nobody is gonna say that you never run the test again or you're not supposed to run the test again. Stress test only once. The, the controller is yours, the virtual users is yours, everything is yours. You can run as many times as you want, any test. So now you increase it by five times and then just run the test. So that's the best way that you would know, like, you know, if, if uh, three times is good enough or not. So now typically, People go with the standard of three times and usually any system will typically break you know if you're applying the load of three times well <clears throat> so l let me demonstrate that for you now okay on the controller so let me open the controller so the controller that I have is 12.50 <coughs> sorry it's winters here in Hyderabad so I'm um, having a little cold so as I've told you it's 12.50 <coughs> good 
go with the manual scenario now go back to your workload uh, workload sheet and in the workload sheet where is my ppt there you go this is where it is so if you go to the workload sheet i have three assume that i have three scripts book flight cancel flight and register user and 75 30 and 15 are the number of users so let me add those three scripts over here <coughs> so that's book flight click on browse that's cancel flight and click on browse browse to the place where the scripts are and add the register users so i've added all the three users now if you see this is the number of users it is disabled so don't worry the reason why it's disabled is here it is selected as real world schedule go ahead and select the basic world schedule automatically this gets enabled so for the book flights how many users were there 75 cancel flight 13 and register user 15 so go ahead and change those numbers 70 is it 70 75 sorry so 75 <coughs> 30 and 15 okay make sure the number of users is 120 so that's what it is make sure the number of users are 120 wonderful guys so now you have all set go ahead and save it so save it as a stress test okay now your scenario is saved you see there is no button on controller to 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 design the select uh, to design the stress test or as a matter of fact any test the way you design the way you, the number of users that you put in and the way you design everything will define what is the stress test not that you know there is a button and you enter the uh, you upload the scripts into that button and automatically the stress test will be designed for you if you are in that kind of intention no that's not what it is how you how can what kind of scripts you upload what is the number of virtual users and all that will define the stress test so since i have installed it and this is a community edition community edition and since i have installed it on my desktop that's why you're seeing the load generators as local host but in your real-time projects uh, they will typically give you what is the load generators and that will show up over here and you can add those load generators over here okay good now this is the part which is very very important so <clears throat> so if you go to the stress test it is just a ramp up there is no steady state and ramp down okay so that's what you define start all users you see the, each one is an action you initialize all the users before you start as a change as a as a edit these actions over here the graph will change as well and this graph should look like something like this should look something like this okay not exactly straight line but something like a straight line something like this it should look okay <laughs> typically five users for 30 seconds is what people lot of people go with so that's what i will go some users will say two users for 30 seconds some i mean some performance testers go two users for 30 seconds some go with five users for 30 seconds i'll go with five users for 30 seconds go ahead and apply and automatically you see there is an amp up you said in the in the in the ppt you have shown one single line kumar now here there is step by step well you know it is more or like a straight line guys you know this is what it is since you said five users for every 30 seconds you see five users 30 seconds it will wait five users 30 seconds it will wait five users 30 seconds so this is what it is okay so more or less when people talk about it they draw they draw one single line and that's what i have done okay instead of saying run in run until completion just say run in, indefinitely and then just say okay now the you keep ramping up assume that maybe around 100 or 120 the system will break okay if it hasn't broken then stop the test and go back and increase it probably by five times okay the number of users as compared to the load test and run the test again okay so this is how you design the load uh, stress test guys okay so hope uh, uh, hope uh, you've enjoyed the video and uh, if you like the trainings if this is what you wanted to see as a part of the trainings you wanted to learn the whole load runner um, extensively uh, get uh, not only record playback and then you know do a little bit of you know uh, uh, adding the transactions you wanted to learn more you wanted to know how to debug you wanted to know how to do custom scripting on load runner then go ahead and enroll to my courses as i've told you already the number to call so 
Thank you guys. See you in the next video wherein maybe I'll discuss about the scalability test and the endurance test.